Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is my first video of me speaking and today I'm starting a new series called Owners and Their Cars and our first episode is this 2010 Clio RS 200. Let's meet the owner. So here is the owner, introduce yourself. Hi yeah, um, I'm James, this is my Clio RS. Um, I have an Instagram both for the car and for my like personal photography stuff. So uh, the car's one is RS200 and then by it's, it's me. <laughs> and um, yeah, my other one's called autobiography. So like autobiography. But... They will both be in the description. Yeah. So right, let's get started with the interview. So the first question is, is how long have you personally owned this vehicle? I have had the car since March of last year, so March 2022. Um, it was a very impulse purchase, I can't lie. Um, I thought I was going to end up with like a Type R, or there's one point I was going to get a Suzuki Cappuccino. But no, I've got this. So some might think, hmm, maybe, maybe not the best choice, but it's great. What can I say? So the next question is, do you personally enjoy ownership of your car? Cool. Well, um, <laughs> it's a good question. Um, yes and no. I mean, to drive, I don't think for the money there is like many better cars that like just the experience of it is just something else. Like I, I love it from that side. But like from an ownership perspective, it's just one problem after one problem. It's French. What can you? Expect? Everyone knows the French car stereotype. Like it, 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 it is what it is. But like yeah, when it works, it's. It's honestly, it's so much fun. I, I can't say anything else about that, really. Is it working today perfectly? <laughs> yeah, it's working today fine. Yeah, no, we're all good at the moment. I've just had like 400 pounds worth of repairs on the suspension because of potholes. So, I mean, if that doesn't, that doesn't say enough, I don't know what does. So. Okay, that's good. <laughs> so, what mileage is your car personally on? My, this one is at 80, that is just crossed 80,000. So it's like 80,000. 300 and something i think it is at the moment okay so, is that good for this year of car oh yeah yeah like i know some people have got like 130,000, 110,000 miles on these cars it's, it's 13 years old like 14 years old it's that's you know it's not bad but i mean for its mileage it's been through a lot that's so good I that's mean. good <laughs> so at the mileage you've just said what sort of things tend to go wrong around this mileage well, 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 where do we start? So, um, one of the things was on the suspension, like I had it done on the driver's side wheel, but they tend to have like these swivel joints, they're like ball joints, but they're actually on the hub of the wheel. They tend to go quite often on like each of the wheels. I've only had the driver's side, so that's not too bad. Cam belt service is around like 75k miles, six years, whatever comes first. This had it done last year, so can't complain. Suspension's made of pot noodles, so I mean, anything that you can possibly imagine has gone wrong there. I've had shocks done, I've had uh, inner rack arms, I've had mounts done. It's just, you could go on and on and on about it, but we've been here for hours. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, no, there's plenty of things that it goes I just couldn't think of them all off the top of my head. All right, okay, thanks. Okay, as of course this car is a two litre, what's the real world miles per gallon you get? That's easy, uh, it doesn't exist. <laughs> um, it, it does about 29, it's on average at 29.3 at the moment. I've done probably like a few thousand miles. It's not, it it's not bad really. for this sort of vehicle. No, no, no it's all right, especially given, you know, it's a bit rough around the edges, but um, no, it's not too bad. I mean, there's cars that could be like 18 at that point, but yeah, no, it's around 30. That's okay. That average. Okay, that's good. So the next question is, well, it's not really a question. I want you to have a couple of minutes or however long you want yeah. to talk about you things should, you want to talk. Should, <laughs> should want a couple hours. Yeah. To talk about things while. you want to talk about the car. So go ahead. What no, do you want to say about the fine. car? That's fine. I mean, as I say, I've owned it about a year or so. Anything that possibly could have gone wrong, you probably would have expected it has. It's absolutely like a dream right now. I've got everything working as I want it to do. But I'll go through some of the changes that I've made to the yep. car just to keep it simple. Um, you can probably notice straight away, got these silly bits of plastic on the bottom of them that aren't <laughs> in the best condition. I do have a new splitter coming on the way, so 
Um, it doesn't stick out as long as you can get them as much damage. But um, it's called like a triple R composite. It's like low line kit. It, it, it's just a Maxton design kit on a different branding. So <laughs> <laughs> it's just a nice little bit just to like extend the front. So yeah, like it looks a bit bare, like without all of Yeah, it, it doesn't look bad it. with and a splitter. So. The black and the black, it kind of works. Yeah, yeah. Um, I put what I call Ortec Club racing wheels on them. They got a little blue centre caps, just match the thing. So that's quite nice. Um, they weren't. They were all right for what what they were price wise. Really strong as well. Because I I thought you know buying wheels, you know sometimes they crack and things like that. Yeah. But when I hit the pothole and lost the shop and the suspension and everything, <laughs> the wheels fine. Absolutely nothing. No problem at all. So I don't have to worry about that. That's good. Um, I mean, if you want to look in the interior, it's probably oh yeah, nice, sure we but, can. I mean, I I tend to keep it quite like. OEM, so, yeah. so that everything's quite standard. It's very know. nice. The, the steering wheel was retrimmed because they tend yep. to peel Silver quite a lot. Top. So uh, I made a few changes there, nothing too major, but it just keeps it tight. Yeah. Um, the spoiler it didn't have when I bought it, it was a black replica spoiler. The whole top of the car was wrapped in everything. But, oh, okay. Um, so you've I done just, some work I, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just I prefer everything to be like colour coordinated. So obviously you've got the silver on the wheel, the silver on here and on the front, on the badges. Yeah, yeah. Um, I saw it on the top of your steering wheel, silver exactly, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got the black on the uh, the end of the spoiler, the black on the on there on the grills. Yep. So you can see, see the badging around the back as well. So um, yeah, I mean, most of it it didn't come with, so it was just kind of like a tidy up job. I just kind of wanted it to be like of the standard that like I personally like. Which yeah. Is like, standard. standard. OEM plus, some might call it, but it's not really. I mean. I, I mean, it, it looks good. It's yeah. not. I don't like using this word, but it's not chavy, but it's it's no, respectable. Well, that's what I go for. So. <laughs> it's just, I, I just want it to be like a not classy, but like respectable. Respectable. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. I mean, it has it has a Miltec exhaust as well. It has a res pipe at the moment, but I am thinking I'm going to take that off, so it might be <laughs> we might lose that class. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, no, it's just a bit of character, and it. it'll be fun for drives and things. Um, it has a K-Tech induction kit as well, but oh, nice. um, it's basically just a, it's like a comb filter, but it just, it, it works, it gives it more grunt, it, yeah. it sounds nice, so you'll probably hear that. But. That's good, that's good. <laughs> so thank you for showing us around your lovely clio rs um your links with your links you know what i mean yeah, yeah, will be down in the description it's very interesting instagram that sounded really disingenuous <laughs> but i get what you mean so, no, no, yeah. okay right well again thank you from him and thank you from the clio goodbye thank you, clio. <laughs>